we have these incredible worlds to explore. There are all new destinations, new planets with incredible spaces and secrets hidden. Now we have stuff tucked around every corner, under every locked door. There's something there for you to find. The map is a huge part of this new player experience for Destiny. Now you can actually go directly from one planet to another planet without going to orbit first. You can just open the director, pick your new destination, and go straight there. It's about getting you into the action faster, and we want to remove as many barriers as we can between your gun and the enemy's face. Everything you're doing on every destination is about getting more powerful, and it's about getting the band back together. The vanguard have been scattered, and as a player, it's your job to go out to these mysterious destinations and gather them back together. And everywhere you go, it's about growing more powerful and learning how to go back and take back your home from Gaul. One of the first destinations that you're going to go to is the European Dead Zone. This is an incredible place. It's the largest destination we've ever built, easily, maybe by a factor of two. And we have found a refuge where we've built a camp. It's the place where humanity stops fleeing, and it's where they decide to, you know, plant a flag, start getting strong again. One of our new worlds is Titan. It's a moon of Saturn. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. That's where Zavala chooses to go, to heal his wounds and to recover from the assault and the defeat that he's just suffered. It's this incredible methane ocean with 40 meter high waves, and there's an old human utopia there that's sinking into the ocean. These huge monolithic structures constructed by humanity at the peak of the Golden Age. There's literally no land mass on Titan. And it looks like the ocean. Come on, I don't know how long this portal's gonna stick. Cade is on a planetoid called Nessus. It has been totally occupied by the Vex. They have transformed it almost entirely into one of their machine worlds. It has its own native vegetation, and the landscape has these incredible canyons that are actually based off of this um, word I will mispronounce called Tepui, which is like these Brazilian plateaus. And then we go to Io, which is this sort of sulfuric yellow moon of Jupiter. Io is the last place in our solar system that the Traveler touched before the collapse happened. And you can imagine that a place where the Traveler once appeared has a bunch of mythology and lore and mystery surrounding it. It's a very sacred place to guardians, and particularly warlocks, and particularly Ikora. This is where I return. There are so many different themes, so many different ideas that you know players get to explore and discover. If I want a great story, it has it. If I want to hear beautiful music, it has it. If I want to go to stunning worlds that are worth exploring, it has it. Everything they want out of gaming is right there in Destiny. Pre-order and get beta early access. Hey, you two, give me a sec. Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. Destiny 2 tells a brand new story. What happens when a world full of superheroes loses their powers, their history, and home? Since Destiny 1 released, there's been no foe that they could stand before and not tip over. Whether it's Crota, Oryx, spider monsters, whatever. But in the opening of Destiny 2, players realize there is, in fact, a foe who has the power to not only take everything you own away, but to take your power away. I am gone. Dominus Gaul is a Cabal warlord who has brought with him the Red Legion and has come to our system to take the Traveler's powers, the light, take it for himself. Gaul's jealous. He wants to have the light. He wants to be chosen. 
Gaul is a different villain. He's not a psychopath who just wants to erase humanity off the face of the earth. He feels like this is something that is owed to him because of everything he's been through. He's a villain who you're like, yeah, this guy kind of has his stuff together. He's more like uh, Alan Rickman's character from Die Hard. <laughs> like, minus all the Britishness. The protector itself, the traveler, is put in a cage, and in an instant, all guardians lose their light. Unexpected and irreversible. You can no longer go back to the tower. You can no longer even walk. All you can do is stumble. Nobody expected that light could be taken away once it was given. The city has been lost and the vanguard's been cast out. And you are the hero of this story. Whether you're a titan, a warlock, or hunter, you have to go out and get your powers back and take back the city. Whether you're playing Destiny today or it's going to be your first foray into the franchise, Destiny 2 is a new adventure for everyone. It's a fresh start for all players. Destiny 2 has an all-new cinematic campaign. There's more cinematics than we've ever had before. I How long before the fleet's combat ready? And more story missions. There's quests, there's adventures, there's going to be people talking to you. Let's bring them home, you and I. All new worlds to explore. We've got cooperative strikes for three players, new nightfall strikes, and a brand new raid. And in Destiny 2, we've built you all new weapons, all new armor, and a pile of brand new exotics. We also redesigned the weapon slots. They're gonna have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. In that energy slot, and the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. The new weapon plan was designed to provide players with more freedom and more choice to use the stuff that they love. Each character has these new supers, and they're really changing the way it feels to play the game. We have the Dawnblade. You can cast your super, you got your sword, and you're flying over everyone, and you can just rain down fire phoenix projectiles that just decimate people. And then you have the Sentinel. The Sentinel is a titan, and he is able to summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with, where he can throw his shield and just bang it off dudes' heads. And then you have the Arc Strider. They summon this mystical staff and wield it like a crazy acrobat, cracking enemies in the head. It's awesome. The idea of losing your home and being cast out and the lengths that you go to to get it back, it's all tied together to be something that's really meaningful. The sense of starting as an underdog and climbing to a great height is really fun. Destiny 2 is the place where we get to reach back out to everyone who could enjoy a sweet first person shooter in a future world with giant awesome aliens to fight and gear to chase and powers to use and say, come check this world out. Come get invested in this world and in this story. Pre-order and get beta early access. Hey, Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Hey, Cora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Battle stations! Everyone with me, now!
This enemy has taken our home. And now, they threaten our very existence. But if we attack together, we can take back our home, or we die trying. Peggy 16. Hi, Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala! This is my serious face. Can't you tell? Ikora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. Maybe it's... What are the set feeds telling us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not there. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Battle stations! Everyone with me, now! to me! Don't let them pass the gate! The evac shuttles are back there! Regulation are well trained, but we are better. We will hold this line until the last civilian is safely away. Infantry! 
shuttles is away. But the speaker, he never made it. I'm going to look for him. I've got the plaza. Go with Ikora. Find the speaker. We're on it, Commander. Ikora, the speaker is gone. Red Legion, you will take no more from us. You will find no mercy in me! She'll find the speaker. We need to move on that command ship. Now head to the North Tower. I'm sending Amanda Holiday to pick you up. <laughs> Guardian you never showed up about? Get them on that command ship! Now! Hold on back there! Guardian, time to kick him where it hurts. The shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. Anyone who's 
The shield generator should be straight ahead. Pre-order for Beta Early Access.